All right, hi there, welcome to Queer Comics. It's Thursday, it's Andrew Johnston. The topic this week is fashion. Fashion! Or stuff, as some people call it. Stuff? Stuff. Oh. Okay. I see. <laughs> you think this has nothing to do with you. You go to your closet and select, I don't know, that lumpy blue sweater, for instance, because you're trying to tell the world that you take yourself too seriously to care what you put on your back. But what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue, it's not turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. And you're also blithely unaware of the fact that back in 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns. And then I think it was Yves Saint Laurent, was it, was it, who did a collection of cerulean military jackets? I think we need a jacket here. I think we need a jacket. And then Cerulean quickly showed up in the designs of eight different designers. And then it uh, filtered down through the department stores and trickled down to some tragic casual corner where you no doubt fished it out of some clearance bin. However, that blue represents millions of dollars and countless jobs. And it's sort of a <laughs> comical how you think you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you were wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room out of a pile of stuff. That was, of course, Meryl Streep's monologue. <laughs> Bone-crushing monologue from the D Where's P, which, like, can you believe Anne Hathaway was in that? Can you believe that she was in that seminal movie? And, like, we'll never be able to, like, exercise her from that. Just, she's part of it. In any event, um, yeah... That's kind of what I have to say about fashion. <laughs> well, no, fashion, I love fashion. I love watching movies. I love watching things about fashion, documentaries about fashion, like Deanna Vreeland, The Eye Must Travel. I've seen it so many times. Uh, In Vogue, The Editor's Eye, that HBO doc a few years ago. Uh, right now, the movie that I'm falling asleep to is about face uh, supermodels then and now, about supermodels pre-1990, so the real ones, and uh, just how, how they've aged. In some cases, not well. Not well at all. Um, in some cases, great. But I watch Project Runway. And so I appreciate it. I, well, I appreciate talented people. And typically fashion uh, not only courts talent, but also charisma. So uh, oftentimes the people are very interesting. Uh, that said, I mean, I I don't consider myself like a fashionable person at all. Was that just a ghost behind me? I don't know if that picked up on camera. but I wish that I could dress... I wish that I could, like, dress up more than I do. I love dressing up. But just in terms of comedy, not very practical to dress up. Uh, a lot of the times, it's like, you want to be as neutral as possible. Like, right now, yeah, this is this would be about it. This would be about as dressed as I would ever get for a gig. Yeah. Yeah. Like, me me putting on a fucking suit, rocking a fucking suit, doing stand-up, it's not funny. It's not, there's nothing funny about someone in a suit uh, telling dick jokes. There's really not. What I would caution the youth of today, the youth of today, well, the youth of any day, is don't maybe embrace trends to the effect that you'd want to as someone who did. Because just when you are in your teens and you have a vacancy for your tastes, you're really going to overdo it, you'll find. And then you'll look back on photographs of you when you were a teenager looking like an electric circus dancer in in just broad daylight because that's what you actually wore to school and um not gonna be great I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this like all the you know i guess like early 20 somethings now the emo generation back in the mid aughts like whoever razored their bangs and dyed their hair black and wore hot topic oh your day is coming soon soon you really start to feel fucking old when you can look at pictures of yourself wearing embodying a style of a different time. And that time is nigh for you. You fucking My Chemical Romance fans and shit like that. Fallout Boy proponents. Anyway, that's all I have to say about fashion this week. Um, yay for me for doing that monologue. It was not easy. And it took several takes. Anyway, go power. Bye!